A teen who died in a crash 20 years ago is remembered by friends in a unique way. Ralston High School junior Josh Brockington was killed in March of 2000 by a drunk driver. He loved theater and choir and left behind hours of film that he created himself. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has more on his vision and impact that will be seen by many on the silver screen. It's me. Hi. How you doing? It's me again. Hi. You bring it. Oh, hi. At Ralston High School, Joshua Brockington brought a creative passion that made him stand out. Mosaic, slim, stretch. Through music and theater, the junior never stopped entertaining and making people smile. Every time I think of Josh, I think about like, yeah, he was going to be something great. March 1st, 2000. Brockington lost his life when a drunk driver being chased by state troopers hit the vehicle he was in at 72nd and Giles. I do believe that people would have known the name of Josh Brockington had this not happened. His impact, talent, and warm heart haven't been forgotten. I am Josh Brockington. will premiere at the Alamo Draft House this Sunday. It's an intimate look at his life through memories, the movies he made, and in his own words. Filmmaker Chris Case was a classmate of Brockington's. Josh's mom, Gail Backer, turned over hours and hours of footage, some unseen. How he's inspired so many people to this day, 20 years later, that he still is a part of people that knew him. Anyone that he touched, he is still a part of. And it's hard. With a mom, you think about it every day, but you do figure no one else remembers. And it's very touching to have have Chris so want to put his heart and soul into this. The night he died, Brockington and Dan Sasich, a Ralston sophomore, were coming back from play practice. Sasich suffered a traumatic brain injury and was in a wheelchair until he died in 2010. I wanted to include Dan as much as I could because Dan was a huge part of his life and Dan was a huge part of all of our lives too. Though he never got to create a legacy in this life, Chris and Gail say he's still impacting the people who knew him through his creativity, drive, heart, and compassion for others. Whatever he did to touch you as a person, as a friend, as a classmate, as whatever, to keep living on what he, what he accomplished. And what I would hope people take away is, you know, that's what counts. That's what life's about, is how you care for others. Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. The film will premiere at the Alamo this weekend. The show is sold out. It will go on the streaming service Vidi Space on March 13th.